I was in a bookstore, uh, it used to be Dalton Books, they're out of business now, and I came across a book about pastels. And it had a beautiful cover, and um, going through that book, I thought, I really want to try this. This looks like it could be me. They're, they're like opening a box of pastels is like opening uh, the best box of crayons you ever could hope for when you were a kid. All these beautiful, bright colors. and. Um, Something about the softness of the, um, once they're applied to paper, I, I don't know, it was just something I fell in love with right away. I had to try that medium and I have stuck with it ever since. Like I said, it's been many years and I've gone to other um, medium, oils and watercolors and charcoal, but I always, always come back to pastel. That's the, what I'm the most comfortable with. When I was in my 30s, I decided to take a class at Henry Ford Community College, and I wasn't sure what to take, so I decided on a design class. And we used gouache paint, and um, I had a wonderful teacher, professor, and um, I kind of fell in love with art at that point. Um, the painting and uh, he taught us drawing and, and design, and it just went from there. I kept taking more and more classes there, and I ended up at Eastern and a, a few drawing classes down at Wayne State. And then I started taking workshops with um, artists in the Ann Arbor area, and um, I just fell in love with it. Landscape painting is my um, the thing that I like the most because I like being outdoors. I, I love Michigan's landscape and um, I love painting it. Sometimes I paint from memories of um, different areas that I've been in Michigan and sometimes I paint from photographs that I've taken of favorite places and lately I've been painting plein air which is painting setting up an easel and painting right on site and painting exactly well not exactly but your rendition of what is before you and um, I do a little bit of all three of those actually in the winter it's hard to get out and um, because of the snow and everything in Michigan so I paint mostly from my studio but um, I'm really uh, loving plein air painting. It's um, you're, you're outside and you get to see nature and hear all the nature sounds. And I think it lends a lot to, to your uh, painting and to the process. After I retired in 2010, I was looking for something to do and I came down here for one of their open paint sessions. I had already started working in pastel, and but just mostly on my own. I worked by myself and I didn't know anybody else that did anything like that. So I came here and um, I met the nicest group of artists. They were so welcoming and um, a lot of them are still friends to this day and I started getting involved with their art shows, helping volunteering with their art shows and um, different activities that they have here and someone approached me to start teaching pastels which I did, I started that like five years ago and it was wonderful. Um, my class grew slowly but surely and um, it was just a wonderful group of people that I looked forward every Wednesday. It, I was here for, it was at least five years until we just recently moved up to the Thumb area. So I'm still in contact with the DCA and all of their functions. Um, the DCA has programs for every ability of artist or any interest that you have in art. If you don't even want to do the art, they have fabulous shows here with excellent artwork. The, the artists that exhibit here are just top-notch. There are programs for children, 
um, wonderful people that teach clay and painting and what have you. They've got tons of supplies downstairs for the little ones. And um, it's just a great way to meet friends, people that are interested in the same things that you are.